happy day I'm good and today I'm gonna let you know what my deal really is <laughs> oh jeez why are you laughing at me I feel like a lot of you watch my videos sometimes and you are like what's this bitch's deal and there was a particular comment that I got two weeks ago that made me really question things and I just like to preface this by saying that I've always gravitated towards calling myself straight because um I'm dating a guy and it just seems I don't want to catch heat from any gatekeeper who says no you're not this or no you're not that a really really long time ago I made a video about anxiety and I couldn't handle the pain of all of the comments saying you don't have anxiety people like you don't have anxiety what are you talking about like the pain from that was so much that I've really not this is just the kind of thing that I don't really like to get into however I got a comment two weeks ago on my Sims video, the one where I have a relationship with another female, we get married. This is all scripted and written, but a lot of people took it as me giving hints or me trying to like put this message forward in a very sneaky, maybe even conniving way. One of the comments I got with 153 upvotes was, can Cassie please tell me where her sexuality stands? She needs to accept herself before anyone else, and all I'm getting from these videos is that she's really trying to hint about something. She said in the Uncomfortable Questions video that she doesn't talk about that, but unless I know she's happy with herself, I'm not gonna stand. And I'm not doing this because this person's not gonna stand. In fact, I got a little bit offended by this question because I don't feel like it should matter what I like and who I like and what I do behind closed doors, but the reason why I'm doing this is because I've been doing a lot of reflecting and I do think it's important for people to feel open to talk about these things. I have been in straight relationships my whole life and because of that, because I've only dated guys, I've always assumed that, you know, I'm straight. I've never dated a girl before, but the more I think about it and the more I reflect on the friendships I've had in the past, a lot of them weren't strictly platonic and I felt it and the other people felt it. And it even got to a point with one particular friendship, one of my main childhood best friends, we were sitting at a place in Vancouver late at night one time, having a few drinky poos. And she turned to me and she looked really nervous and scared. And I was like, what? And she was like, Cassie, I'm not gonna keep this a secret anymore, but I know that there have been feelings between us. I've felt it and I know that you have too, but this is me coming out to you saying that I've had a crush on you since I met you. And every time we had sleepovers as best friends, I would watch you sleep. It was really romantic when I heard her say it. Saying it back to you guys, you're probably gonna think that's creepy, but I found it uh, to be very endearing. So she said that to me and then she moved in for the kiss. And I wasn't expecting this to happen just because I've never... It's not that I never entertained the thought of having these kinds of things with my friends. It's just that I'm, I've always been under the assumption that my female friends didn't see me in that way. And if I had any feelings like that, it's something that, you know, is just... I just ignored it, okay? I just ignored it. So she moved in for the kiss. I was really happy and thrilled and excited that this was going down so I kissed her back and we had this moment together and after that the friendship got really strange because I didn't know what the next step was she was in a relationship at the time and it just didn't feel right so the next day I texted her and I said what happened last night and she was like I don't know I, you know and I was like, yeah, blah, 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 blah. and then we never spoke about it again. And I've had many, many friendships with girls throughout my life where that happened. I've had a lot of very intimate moments with females in my life. I will say that these things have always remained PG, but that's mostly because I've never been a very overtly sexual person. And when a lot of these things happened, I felt like I was too young to have those kinds of experiences, but the feelings were real. I will say that the first best friend I ever had, I obviously had a thing for her. And it wasn't like a, oh, I want to be friends and like, we'll call each other on the phone. Like a lot of these, a lot of friendships I've had with different girls, I wanted to be with them every second of the day. I thought they were the most beautiful people ever. I found them very attractive. And 
we moved like people in a relationship. We talked like people in a relationship. We fought like people in a relationship. I'd have dreams about these people. There was one particular girl in high school who I had dreams about all the time. And usually that only happens when I have feelings for somebody. This isn't me coming out to say that I am a lesbian because I don't believe that I am. This also isn't me coming out to say that I am bisexual because I don't believe I mean, I could be, <laughs> but I don't, I don't think that that's the correct word to describe me because I don't, I feel like in the past, I've never really thought about gender and sex when it comes to me being attracted to someone and wanting to spend every waking second with them. It's always been, I like people that I like, and I don't think that gender or sex has ever gotten in the way of that. So what I'm trying to say here is, I believe with certainty, almost certainty, sexuality is a weird thing and I don't quite know, but I believe with almost certainty that I am pansexual. And that means that I am attracted to people and I have romantic feelings about people regardless of gender. I like people who like me. And there isn't much more to it than that. If I like somebody and I spend a lot of time with them, and I'm attracted to them, it doesn't really matter what's going on everywhere else. The feelings are always the same. And it's been kind of hard for me to admit that because again, I don't want people to, s I, I, it's always been about what I want people to think and this is why I made this video because I just wanted to tell the truth and I wanted to encourage other people to tell the truth. I wanted to really bring it forward that it's my personal belief that sexuality is a spectrum. And I know you've heard that all the time. And I know a lot of you guys probably get annoyed by that statement. Um, but I do, I do believe that not everybody is just straight. I mean, if you look at ancient Greece, I mean, that, that wasn't a just straight situation at all. I will say that I have a type. I don't like pretty boys that are too muscular. And in my life, with a few exceptions, I've only ever gone for men who are very effeminate. Like Terry. Are you outing me in this video too? No, it's not outing though, it's just talking. When I thought about making this video, I was like, I'm not gonna do it because it doesn't seem like a particularly important topic. It shouldn't matter. And that's the thing. I should be able to talk about it because it doesn't matter, right? But to some people, it might matter. A few of my friends recently have come out as bi and they were really scared to do it. And I was like, it doesn't matter. But I guess at the same time, I was kind of discounting like how they felt about it. And in my past, I've kind of discounted how I felt. And I've been like, no, I'm straight. Yes, very straight. But that's not necessarily the truth. And I think it's fine that that's not necessarily the truth. The most important reason why I'm making this video that actually compelled me to do it is because when I was in the sixth grade, there was this kid who lived in this small conservative town with us and he walked up to us while we were all having a conversation. I don't remember what the conversation was about. Maybe it was offensive. I don't remember. But it seemed to come out of nowhere when this kid yelled this thing at us. But he was like, my mom's a lesbian, okay? And all of us just went silent and we were like, hmm, okay. And the fact that we, hmm, okayed it kind of seems wrong to me. And it might seem annoying, like, to some people, especially maybe straight people, it might seem annoying to you to always have this sexuality thing thrown in your face. But I feel like until sixth graders can have a scenario like that and it not make the room super, super awkward, I feel like these conversations just keep they need to keep being had until it's normal. So I hope that in some way, me coming out in this way is, I, I don't know, I, I hope it helps. I know that a lot of you guys in my viewership are gay. I know a lot of you guys are lesbians. I know that a lot of you guys are yourselves. And I think that's really cool. And I think that everyone should be themselves. So that's why I'm here. It's really hard to talk about this kind of thing without sounding cliche. So that's why it's hard for me. But yeah, I hope that, uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope it makes sense to you. Um, if you want, you can 
you know, bully me in the comments and say that I'm not what I say I am. Just please don't bully anyone else. I feel like I can handle it because I've been in straight relationships my whole life and I've had the privilege of not being bullied for my sexuality my entire life. So like, I'm good, but like a lot of other people aren't. A lot of other people, when they talk about these kinds of things, it's scary. So just take it easy on them. Take it out on me. With the anxiety thing and people saying I don't have anxiety, it was really painful. But I've grown a lot since then. And um, I think we're good. So have fun down there. I'll be watching you.